The Queen looks every bit the proud grandmother as she leads the royals at the Chelsea Flower Show just two days after Harry and Meghan's wedding. The Queen looked delighted as she joined other members of the royal family at the RHS Chelsea Flower Show today, fresh from the weekend's wedding celebrations. Famous faces including Holly Willoughby, Philip Schofield, Alan Titchmarsh, David Williams and Joanna Lumley have been spotted among the flora. Her Majesty was accompanied by the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Princess Royal and Princess Alexandra, and will attend a private reception later on this evening. Other royals in attendance included Princess Beatrice, the Duke of York, and the Princess and Prince of Kent. Prime Minister Theresa May was this morning shown a genuine Yorkshire cowpat at the Welcome to Yorkshire Garden. Established in 1913, the flower show has become one of the world's biggest showcases for horticultural excellence, attracting visitors and exhibitors from across the globe. It has grown from 244 exhibitors in 1913 to more than 500 today, including gardens, nurseries, floristry, educational displays and trade stands. The show attracts 168,000 visitors. The show is organized by the Royal Horticultural Society, of which the Queen is patron. On arrival the Queen was greeted on the grounds of the Royal Hospital Chelsea in London by the President of the Royal Horticultural Society, Sir Nicholas Bacon. She was then taken on a tour of the gardens and sea displays, including the, the RHS Feel Good Garden, celebrating 70 years of the National Health Service and highlighting the positive impact of horticulture on mental health. After visiting the Chinese show garden, the Queen was presented with a silk scarf depicting two whales. The Queen will also see the Welcome to Yorkshire Garden, inspired by the Yorkshire Dales, the Wuhan Water Garden, China, which showcases the natural landscape of Hubei Province, and the Morgan Stanley Garden for the NSPCC. The Countess of Wessex also visited the Morgan Stanley Garden for the NSPCC as patron of the children's charity. Established in 1913, the flower show has become one of the world's biggest showcases for horticultural excellence, attracting visitors and exhibitors from across the globe. It has grown from 244 exhibitors in 1913 to more than 500 today, including gardens, nurseries, floristry, educational displays and trade stands. The show attracts 168,000 visitors. The show is organized by the Royal Horticultural Society, of which the Queen is patron. This morning presenters Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield are at the show to reveal a pink rouse, which marks the program's 30th birthday. The flower, produced in association with Harkness Roses, was selected by this morning's gardener, David Domini, for the anniversary. The press preview day of the annual flower show began with rapper Professor Green opening the RHS Feel Good Garden, which promotes gardening for health, happiness and well-being. Designed by gardener Mac Aitley, the space aims to provide a contemporary and therapeutic environment which focuses on the positive impact that gardens and gardening can have on health. The musician, whose real name is Stephen Manderson, said, I know only too well how hard and hopeless it can feel when you suffer from anxiety and depression. I'm opening this garden at RHS Chelsea Flower Show because if being out in a garden helps people feel better or takes their mind off their worries, then that has to be a good thing. After the flower show, the garden will live on at Camden and Islington, C&I, NHS Foundation Trust. Professor Green added, I think the Chelsea Garden living on at the Camden and Islington Mental Health Trust is a great project that will be of real benefit to both the patients, and also the staff who work there. I love my own garden and the more time people spend close to nature, away from phones and general pressure of life, the better we'll all feel.